hi i'm going to show the page construction for a file folder box that i had made back for about four months ago and they are the recipe file box actually the google hangout was done live and how to make your box was recorded but how to make your pages was not um that was error on my part i guess i didn't hit a certain button so let's go ahead and we're going to make i'm going to show you how to make a page you're going to need 12 of these you're going to take i'm using 11 eight and a half by 11 inch paper you just want to cut it down to seven inches by 11 inches so you will need 12 you're going to want 12 of these then we take the seven inch side and get this down here you're going to score one half inch i turn mine to the 11 inch side and i score it five and a half i'm going to turn it again and score it one half like i mentioned you will do this 12 times i'm going to do this hopefully showing you without doing all 12 pages because i don't have a box made but i will I have, I mean, I have a box made. I don't have one being made. So I hope that I don't confuse everyone. Now go ahead and fold your page in half and fold up your one half inch score marks. Now on your, your papers, because we want to make a page, you're, you're going to use scissors and scissors are just fine. You're not going to see where we cut. So if you've cut a little bit crooked, you're fine. So you're going to go on the inside of your score line and we are going to cut all the way to that middle where we scored in the middle then you're going to turn your paper and just taper that edge okay i turn it over when i'm doing the other side so we we're going to go on the inside again of that score line got some score tape on my scissors so it wants to stick Let's go ahead and just cut all the way to the top. And like I said, you don't have to worry about it being perfect because you're not going to see your cut lines. And then, um, so you'll see when you fold this up and you're going to fold your sides over, then we will have our page. So I have another one cut, so I'll do these first two with you. And I use my 3 8 of an inch score, inch score tape. Let's see if I've got anything left. I like the 3 8 because it fits perfect in that half inch score line doesn't hang over and I'll do one page I'll do my other page taping it and so you'll see oh go ahead I forgot let's go ahead and cut the top here go ahead and just miter these corners off so it looks like like that you just have a little bit of an angle remove your score tape you still want to make sure before you put your sides down that you do get this up at the top. You might have to do a little more of the folding. Now just fold that right over and fold this side right over. And there we have our pocket page. Since I have another one cut, I'm going to go ahead and just tape it while I'm on the camera. And roll along that inside of that score mark. Then I'm going to miter my corners just a little bit. Now I will have to grab another box. I should have I should have grabbed my finished box beforehand. I apologize. So let me just grab it off my shelf. So there'll be a moment of silence. Now, for one of the boxes that I made, let me move my page over. Over here is, you're going to be covering this with pattern paper on each side. So, on your sides, let me turn this one over. Um, I cut these pieces of paper. Your page is five and a half inches long. So, I cut it four and seven eighths by, excuse me, by one and a half, by, no, by three. So, you want to cut 12. 24 pieces of your pattern paper that you're going to just cover your ends and I will cut one piece of pattern paper and show you how I've done that on your ends. So we're going to take a 
let me find them. There we go. I'm just going to use this one. And I want to cut it. I usually, I have a bigger cutter I usually use. Should have been a little more prepared, sorry. So we're going to cut it at, oh, that's right. Our pages are five and a half. So I'm going to cut it just at that big mark before the five and a half, just a sliver, a sliver short of five and a half because I want it to mostly cover at the top, the bottom, it's not going to show. So you can also decide, do you want yours to be a little bit longer? Do you want it to be more the size? It's, it's totally up to you. And we're going to cut it three inches wide. Um, look at it, see the lot, how you like it. You might want it to be completely full length, so cut it at five and a half. We're going to go ahead and score this pattern, our pattern paper, in half, so one and a half. This is a fun box. As you can see, the box that I just showed you, I actually, that one is, um, made for family photos. You can use it for a recipe box. A lot of fun stuff. So after you fold it in half, I go ahead and put my score tape on each side. And I match it up to my page. And I probably would have cut this a little longer if I was going to be using this for an actual box and not just demoing. So what I do is I hold my page there and just open it up and it slips. I like to hold it, there we go. Hold it down, remove my score tape, make sure we're in there, push that down. That way it's on straight, I don't have any issues, and you're just going to cover these ends. Okay. Now, on this other side, you will have another piece that goes like this. And I apologize again, I'm not making one or I would have everything out. This is just for demoing. Now, just don't look at that. Do you see how you have this open area? Okay, what you want to do is measure one and a half inches from the bottom on every page. You're going to measure one and a half inches make a line, you're, you'll turn it over, and you'll make a line. So you're going to do this on all 12 pages. Then you're going to take, because I don't want to use my score tape, where this is just, a, you know, for demoing. Let me open my glue. We're going to take glue, you can take your wet adhesive, you can take anything you want, that will, of course, stick. You're going to take your adhesive or glue right along here, right along that mark, and straight up. And then, even with score tape, I would, I would make an X in the middle. Then I'm going to take my next page, and you're going to do this to all 12 of them. Just line it up. Now, the only reason I say to go ahead and, and mark the front and back of your pages at the one and a half at the bottom is because you may not put the right sides together. You may grab it not knowing, and so they're already marked on both sides. So that makes, that is how you make your accordion pockets. So let me go ahead and see if we're going to do another one. So we would just, you would just keep going and building on this, all 12 of your pages. Now, when, when you get, you've, you've got your box and you probably already made your box. It should be totally put together and you should have it if you're going to cover the insides, however you want. So you will have a box sitting here like this. And I, I wish I, I'm sorry, I just, I wish I'd recorded that video now. 
on your front cover. Whoops, no, my cap if I get in the video. Okay, where we've marked it one and a half, you will tape it again, and you're going to have all 12 of these together. I hope I'm not confusing you. They'll look like this. You'll have all 12 of them together. You're going to open your box, put that first page right in there, and you're going to, just like you would adhere to the page, you're going to adhere it to the front. You will adhere it to the front of your box. Okay, make sure it is sitting down right, let me show you, almost to the, almost to the bottom here. Sorry, we're tangled up in the camera. Now you get to see my shirt. Okay, you want it to be sitting right against the bottom. Okay, so you'll put your first one, and they're all going to be hooked together. You're going to put your first one onto the cover so you can see it's part of this cover then you will take so they're going to be all kind of squished up then you're going to take your very back one and you're going to make sure it's sitting down and this is when I would turn it and you're going to adhere it to this this back piece which is your your very back cover now after you adhere it down you will then have your accordion see how I have all 12 And I, I put each one of them together first, just like that. So the bottom isn't even attached. So it just kind of is suspended there between the front cover and the back cover. Okay, I hope this helps putting the rest of your box together. I do plan on making a few more of these because I do have some craft boutiques coming up. So I will make sure when I do my pages I will do a full full video now inside each I cut my mats Let me move this. I cut mats to go in each one and so I'll add some more and my mats are like six by five and a half I believe so you can go no they're five and a half by five and a half the reason you don't want them too tall is your cover your cover won't close you need to have that space here also so you can put more room, especially if you're going to use it for recipes. If this is confusing, oh, please message me and let me know, and I'll see what I can do to help you better. But it's very simple, very quick, and very fun. So let me know, and I hope that this has helped. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.